So we have been working, getting ready for this high, uh, this amp fest. Uh, this junk from the studio, throwing out, and the cleaning. I got a dump company coming with a truck in about five minutes to haul it away. And uh, actually, I have a contractor coming out to do some work on the room tonight. And I'm getting everything ready, man. Listening to a little bit of Super Unknown. basic setup is going to be across this whole area here to probably about here which is about I don't know let's say 18 lineal feet probably gonna put cabinets all across here and then stack all the heads up across uh, won't be able to probably get them all up there but get a lot a lot of them up there back here will be the one cabinet that's actually going to be mic'd up the other ones are going to be set up so that heads can be warming up ahead of time while uh, while we're demoing uh, the heads and then there'll be enough room for somebody to stand behind it and do all the cabling and um, yeah right here I got the setup for my camera so we're going to be uh, we're going to have the video camera here and we're going to be running a feed right from Pro Tools into the camera at uh, 2448 and back here I clean this all up this used to well I've got a, a, a contractor coming and he's gonna put a big bar across there because we have theatrical uh, curtains that hang here that deaden this because it's the vocal booth so it's gonna be nice um, for the event we're gonna be running uh, Neves that's a vintage uh, 1073 it's actually from uh, Bearsville, Bearsville, the where they did Jeff Buckley Grace. So Jeff Buckley probably made some music through that. And then that's a brand new 1070, uh, say 1023. It's uh, got a couple of extra EQ points. Incredible pre. And then uh, these are mostly what we use for guitars. Just the brand new 1073 with just uh, my pre filter. Just incredible on guitars. And uh, APIs, which are incredible in guitar in a different way and Pacifica which is incredible in guitar in a different way too so we're going to be kind of blending the flavors um, with the different mics and um, so anyway this is got our little template started here I gotta put up some mics and um, that's it it's gonna rock man it's gonna rock There goes the guys. They just hauled all the junk away. Look at that. Now it just looks like standard ugly North Hollywood without the pile of junk. So I've been learning these songs for the shootout. <laughs> I've been practicing and my fingers are killing me. See guys, I'm 46 years old, man. I don't practice, unfortunately. You know, I'm like a session guitar player, and I'm like one of those guys that, you know, plays on records and plays the song, and I can, you know, do what I need to do for what I do, but, you know, expanding my horizons on guitar has not been uh, what my life's about in the past 15 years, so, uh, which is, uh, which honestly is kind of a drag sometimes, because like, I, I, it's like there's a part of me still like wishes I could kind of shred and I kind of really can't because I just don't you know when I was a kid I studied with Paul Gilbert and was into that whole thing but I just now my fingers just don't <laughs> just don't move quite that quick but uh, you know anyway so I've been learning all these tunes so, you know trying to have new songs because you start playing all the same stuff on these things this it's night right away Queen is in love Fire. Round and round. Hell's Bells. Famous. My Wave. 
and I pitched them all so they're all in the same key so that I could just learn them. Symphony of Destruction. fun pedal board together here of some of my favorite pedals and uh, we're not going to be running through this when we're testing the amps but once the amps have been tested we're going to probably you know if some of them plug this in and maybe put some phaser and delay and do a little OCD obviously I have a tuner and I can't remember the freaking order is it, is it distortion before effects? effects before? I don't know we'll figure it out but anyway so we'll have a little bit of fun, maybe throw a little little phase 90 on, uh, on some of the Van Halen and like doing some solos, we'll put some slap back. This MXR Carbon Copy is a killer delay and uh, killer, obviously the OCD is awesome. So that's, uh, there you go, and the tuner. So this will be on the floor of the whole shootout, so I'll be plugging into this uh, to tune, but for the, for the actual, you know, going through the amps, we'll be going straight out of the guitar, straight into the amp. And man, this, <laughs> this Phase 90 is awesome. morning this thing was pure white last night when I left and that piece of wood drank all the paint so much nicer yeah this is our vocal booth which will be amp storage there it is done That's it. Played this uh, amp, this like small box, 50 watt plexi kind of thing of Rob's over Tone Merchants. Yeah. That uh, Dave Friedman modified. Things sounded so good. Oh my God. I don't know what he did to it. Very cool amp. All right, anyway, so uh, for you guys out there that aren't coming, I'm, I'm doing this so you feel like you're a part of it, man. That's it, man. We're breaking down my my drums. We're starting to organize the amps. Yeah, this is gonna be killer. This is a mean. He's security. What's up? You guys are gonna die. Are you gonna put the uh, Are you gonna put the box in with these? Yeah, or? yeah. Where is the box? Oh yeah, we gotta the get box the box in the Victoria. Yeah, we're bringing them in. So these. Cabinets are gonna be here. People can also play through them. Is it? It's everything, or is it just kind of the higher gain stuff? Hold on, hold on. Help him. It's it's everything, man. We're doing low gain, low wattage, high gain, high wattage, the whole works. So the way it's gonna be set up is that amps are gonna be here warming up, and then they're all one at a time gonna be put on top of this Mesa Boogie bass cab, so that they'll be kind of dead center on the show. Yeah. And that's our refrigerator. It looks an awful lot like a base cap. Yeah, that's something like that would be good. Yeah. So then the camera can be just right up on each head, so we can you can totally so cool. see what we're uh, what we're doing. Yeah. Let's. So basically, this mic, this cap will be mic'd up, and then we've got this nice high-end mic cable or speaker cable that'll be going here, but it's long enough so like. In the middle of this whole thing, if all of a sudden we're like, oh man, I want to hear the camera in, or I want to hear the diesel, we just pop it over and whoever's back there just plugs it in and we start playing. So this is going to be totally insane. Now, how many amps are, are, are up there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like 11. 
they were gonna have like 50 or 60. So it's gonna be stacked up all the way here and then there'll be some in the waiting room. We're probably gonna do the low gain stuff first. And then once the low gain stuff is done, move it all into the back room. So that's the game plan. Start low, go to high, and at the end, the like top 10 or 15 high gain killer shunk gunk amps are just we're just gonna we're gonna stack them all up here and they're just gonna go head to head and we're just gonna be plugging in one unplugging and plug the next one in going to here going to there and just you're gonna hear it all man jose's friedman's fortin's cameron's bogner's splawn everything side by side never done before this is gonna be amazing man what's up i don't even want to walk in because camera's coming it's happening. It's reality TV. What's up, Mike? So this will be the That's deal. That's right, you did. That's right. I don't know if somebody I could walk back here, plug, unplug amps. All the cabinets will have cables draped over the top. Very cool. Playing the Cameron Custom 75. getting a bunch of these amps here ahead of time and we're gonna mess with them so we can kind of get a feel for it this is uh, I, don't, I think there's only one of these in the world this is the Cameron custom 75 that really sounds nice squeaking but it sounds good that sweet and that thing sound great next like four or five days there's going to be so many amps in this place it's going to be mind-boggling i got a wizard shipped out today from mr super unknown and reeves sent an amp and there's a couple of other companies the company greenleaf and henning kind of a bunch of uh like boutique new companies or something i don't know So this is a Seriatone Chupacabra 100. Ooh, Ooh, is it my size? With you? I think it's yours. No, that's for you. Alright, so there it is. How come all the lights are on? It still seems dark in here. I can't read. <laughs> I'm so blind. Hold on. All right, so we've got resonance, presence, bass, mid, treble, master, gain one, gain two. We've got era, bright two, bright one. I think one of these may be a push pull. Okay, gain two, gain one is a push pull. Okay, that's it. All right, let's uh, plug it in. Uh, 